video um, about this uh, <clears throat> portable toilet that was sitting over here by my uh, workbench during another video. Someone noticed it and, and asked if I could do a video about that. So <laughs> I thought, what the heck, I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. I just sort of made this thing as, um, I don't know, just kind of an experiment to see what it would take to, to make a portable toilet. And uh, I, I actually haven't completed it yet, but it's, it's almost done. I just haven't really felt any compelling need to finish it in a hurry. So um, anyway, I'll just show you what, uh, what you're going to need and, and all that. In all honesty, there are a lot of portable uh, porta potties out there and that sort of thing that uh, you could probably buy. It would be a whole lot less trouble and, and wouldn't be much more money. Uh, the supplies that I bought to put this together probably cost about $35 at uh, Home Depot. But, um, you know, you can buy them. They're, they're all made of plastic. You can buy them now that have uh, tanks in them that seal up and and they're pretty easy to dump and so you're you're probably better off just doing that but if anybody's interested in this uh, <laughs> here's what you're gonna need uh, <clears throat> a toilet seat and uh, this was from Home Depot everything here is from Home Depot and some plywood you're gonna need two by fours and um, you will need a five gallon bucket and uh, this is for those of you who are uh, interested in doing a uh, like a, a composting type uh, toilet actually you wouldn't be composting right in the to in the bucket but uh, uh, some some composting systems they separate the uh, liquid from the solid matter and in that case you would need something like this which um, is a urine collector and then you would uh, have to make a hole in the bottom of it with a tube running out of it so that it runs somewhere other than uh, where the feces go isn't this fun <laughs> but anyway um, these you can buy online. I, I forget what they're called, uh, but um, I'm sure you can find them on Amazon and that sort of thing. They're they're pretty cheap, but you know they're kind of flimsy, so I don't know how long they would last. But uh, anyway, so what you need to do is get your toilet seat on the um, plywood. Set it down, and you need to cut out an outline or, or draw an outline around it, maybe uh, like an inch and a half around it, bigger than the actual seat is. An inch and a half or so ought to be pretty good. And um, have that extend out beyond the back here so that um, your... Uh, where you bolt this uh, seat onto it is is not going to be past the end of it. So you, in other words, you're going to have to drill a hole in this for these uh, little bolts to go, plastic bolts to go through. So anyway, you do that, and um, so you cut that out, and then you're going to end up with a piece of plywood that looks something like this with this shape here and uh, what you're going to do is cut that out and then um, set that back on the plywood outline it again only from this piece outline it on the plywood and uh, cut out another piece from the plywood so you've got two identical pieces like this and one's going to be the top the other one's going to be the bottom now this one obviously is the bottom and then for the top one you will cut it out and leave that uh, space there so that you, you actually end up with just kind of a, a, a ring here and this you will be able to uh, use to um, make the framework of it the top part of the framework and you just cut out these uh, 2x4's and I've got 
two, four, six of them. I tried to make this so that it would end up being about the same height as my standard toilet in the house. So anyway, that's 14 and a half inches tall. You, that's how uh, how long you cut the two by fours. Then you just uh, screw these together with just deck screws. Um, bolt it on there, top and bottom. And you end up with, with this piece here. And it's it's really solid. The bucket obviously will go inside of it. And then uh, you're gonna you're gonna need another piece of plywood to go on the top of this. That's gonna be this piece here. And uh, so so actually you're gonna need three of those pieces cut out to match top. Uh, top, bottom, and uh, then this this actual part here. So it will sit right like this, and then you uh, set the toilet uh, seat on there and ma put, mark where these holes are, and then you drill out those holes. So these will go through here on both of them, and then uh, you're gonna you'll have these. Uh, nuts, plastic nuts that will come with them and they will uh, screw on underneath here and I had to I had to cut this out just so there would be enough space to uh, tighten those nuts on in there but um, so when you get done you're going to have something that ends up looking like this and uh, like I said if you have the uh, the uh, urine diverter in there it's going to be it's going to be in here actually this uh, urine diverter would be here it'd be sitting there something like that actually I was going to what I was going to do is cut this down so that it would uh, it in there a little better but anyway um, so that's how that's going to end up and then for the uh, for the side of it I just bought some uh, like a wood wood blinds cheap some cheap wood blinds like this these are from Home Depot also for a small window and uh, the idea is to just wrap it around this thing like this and uh, attach it in the back and uh, so you end up with a I think it's pretty nice looking little little toilet here end up looking like that and uh, you know <laughs> depending on what you're going to use it for if you're if you live in an area where they allow uh, composting of human waste, uh, this could be a nice a nice way to do it. Um, you could even you could put this inside your house if you had a comp you know wanted to use uh, humanure they call it, call it do some humanure composting, and you would just uh, get some. Uh, they they make these uh, plastic bags that would go inside of the bucket. And they're uh, actually compostable plastic bags, so you just uh, you would wrap it up when you're when you're uh, when it's full, wrap it up, and just throw it in your compost pile and cover it with your uh, your uh, your material, and uh, it would it would break down with the uh, with the waste. So uh, you know it would be a really a pretty clean operation done that way but um, I do believe that doing it that way you'd have to uh, divert the urine somewhere but you know that's I'm not really going to go into all that because I'm not an expert in that at all but this is more just a uh, a unit for having a portable toilet somewhere that you can uh, <laughs> I don't know if you're going to be camping out somewhere in the middle of nowhere but but like I said in the beginning, they sell these uh, porta potties that 
they're probably a whole lot easier to to dump and clean and and they're probably a little more expensive but it's going to be a whole lot less trouble so anyway that's uh that's what i've got for that so <laughs> good luck <laughs>